Hey, coffee lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. Well caffeinated as usual, so I'm gonna talk quick. We're gonna go through uh, brew grinders. These are Eureka Mignon uh, brew grinders. We have the Filtro, the Chrono, and the Brew Pro. Um, really nice grinders. These are machine grade. These are built really nice. Um, over here on the Filtro and the Chrono, 50 millimeter flat burrs. Over here on the Brew Pro, we're looking at a 55 millimeter improved burr for brew grinding. So we'll talk a little bit about that. We're going to take a look coming up. I'll take a look. I did some testing on, you know, the kind of fines that you get out of each of these grinders. You're always going to get some fines when you grind coffee. Some grinders do better than others. We're going to see that Brew Pro does a really nice job. So what do we got over here? Again, machine grade grinders. These have um, full metal jackets. Um, you know, if you're looking at something like a Breville Smart Grinder, a Capresso Infinity, a Barazza Virtuoso, those are all kind of appliance grade. They're all going to use a conical burr, uh, about 40 millimeters maybe on those conical burrs in those grinders. We're going up to 50 millimeter uh, here on these two grinders. So, what's the difference? We kind of, you know, it's a good, better, best kind of thing going on here. So, over on the Filtro here, this is a very simple grinder, yet very robust. Um, it's just a manual grinder, so it's got the grinds bin here. Push and hold on the switch on the side to grind. Let go and it stops. Um, grind size adjustment on the Filtro and the Chrono is right up here. It's continuously variable from espresso right up through to cold brew size. So you can go down to espresso. Really wouldn't recommend these for espresso. It'd be kind of difficult to use for that, but you can. Um, so it does have the grinds bin here. This grinds bin is really nice. It's a lot more uh, solid than you find on most appliance grade grinders. It's got rubber feet on the bottom. It's really nice and thick. But I think what most people are gonna do um, is something like this. I've got like a Hario V60 dripper here. So if you're doing pour overs, or you know, if you're using a filter basket for filter coffee, you can place that right under there, press the button, and grind right into that. So that works out really nice. Um, this grinder, by the way, it, if I didn't already say, runs about the same price as like a Smart Grinder Pro. It's below the price of a Barazza Virtuoso, and you've got bigger, nicer burrs in this than you do in that, and also that really nice construction. So the main difference over here on the Chrono is, you know, guess what? Chrono time, yeah. So you get time grinding with this. Um, so over here, you've got like a dial here. It ranges from five seconds up to 60 seconds of grinding. Um, and instead of the push switch, like on the Filtro, you've got a switch here. So if we're going into the bin, I just press the bin in. You know, there. And it grinds into the bin like that, and it's gonna stop automatically after five seconds. If I wanted to grind manually on this, I can. I can do a press and hold on that switch, and it'll just keep grinding until I let go. And again, over here, you can do the same thing with the, uh, you know, your filter basket or a dripper basket. You can just set that under. I'll show you how that works. Then you just use your finger here to push that button and grind like that. And again, these two will go from espresso size right up through cold brew size. Uh, the controls right here. So that's those two. Now let's go over to the Brew Pro. So this moves up a step in burr size, and also it's got a different design to the burr, so you're gonna get less fines. Now, you're, again, here's a little graph that's showing, you know, kind of particle distribution in a grinder. Um, I'm not gonna mention which one this is, but you can see that you're always gonna get some fines when you're grinding. Uh, what the, you get over here is less fine. So I did a lot of testing. I spent about four hours. What I did is some sifting of coffee and weighing. I started with a 20 gram, uh, ground 20 grams, then sifted it between an 1100 and 400 micron screen. What I try to do is dial in so that on the uh, Chrono and the Brew Pro, I was getting the same weight in between 400 and 1100 uh, microns and then see how much the fines were. And it, basically what I was finding with the Brew Pro over here is 25%, sometimes even more, less fines than I'd get on the other two. So if you don't like the fines, which tend to over extract, they can slow down extractions when they clog up paper filters, that kind of thing, um, you're gonna get a much nicer grind. How important is that to you? You know, that's up to you. If you're very particular, the Brew Pro really is a pro. Um, so, over here on the Brew Pro, we also go to, we have a touch screen display here. Um, so you've got two timed presets. So I've got 4.5 seconds over here. I've got 34 seconds over here. This is a very reactive screen, so you can, you know, go down by a tenth of a second here, 
If you press and hold, it'll start running faster and faster and faster as you go through the time. So it doesn't, oh, I hit the, went to the single there. So it'll, it'll go pretty quick. So you can adjust the time quickly. I like that. You can also go manually by pressing both. But let's go back to the, we'll go back to what I have set here, four and a half seconds. Again, it has the switch out here uh, like the chrono does for starting. So if I just press in, it starts grinding. And it's going to stop all by itself because we're, you know, running the four and a half seconds. Now if I go to manual, I just press to start. And it'll just keep grinding until I press to stop again. Kind of like that. Um, and again, over here, if you're doing, you know, drip coffee, drip coffee, you can grind right into that. I'll go back to that single one. We'll just let that go. Again, you need to push the button here. And it does really nice. Now the grind size adjustment, now notice how much quieter this grinder is than the other two. This one, you know, Eureka does a lot. They've got their Silencio grinders for espresso. I'm guessing they put some of the same tech in here to really make this a really nice sounding grinder. Um, grind size adjustment on this one, it's a 360 degree turn of this knob. It's all focused in the brew range. What I've got out front here is the range. So this is the finest setting here. You get a look at that. Um, this is much finer than you typically go for, say, a, a drip coffee. So you've got plenty of range there. And then over here, this is the coarsest setting. And if you can see that, we got you know some chunks in there. We're up to cold brew size over here. Um, so you've got that range, and it's just adjusted here. But it's only a 360 degree turn. And unlike the other two grinders, you actually have some numbers on here. So if you say, you know, I was at four and a half, and I really like that grind, you can always get back there real easily. Um, oh, and of course, not only is it quieter, got the touch screen, but you have a lot of different colors you can choose from. We've got the white, the silver, the red, the black. So if you want to personalize it for yourself, you can do that. Again, what I found in my testing was, you know, usually about 25% less fines in this. So if, you know, if I was taking that 20 grams, grinding that up, um, over here, I'd be, you know, somewhere about three grams of fines. That's under the 400 um, microns. And over here, I was getting like 2.4. And as you know, you change that around a little bit, you may get less or more. I mean, sometimes I was getting a gram more fines out of these two. Is that important to you? Again, that's a personal decision. But if you want, you know, a more consistent grind, the Brew Pro will get you there. So those are the Eureka Mignon. We have, again, the Filtro, the Chrono, and the Brew Pro. You know, I do love uh, answering questions. So if you have any questions on these grinders or anything Coffee Espresso, use the comments. Be more than happy to give you a detailed answer. Um, you know, if you like this stuff and you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Um, and then, you know, we'll see you back here for more on the best of everything coffee brought to you by Whole Latte Love.